right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about 24 hours or so away from the U.S. men's national team game against Mexico. Rahi and Roy are excited. Right. I know I'm excited. Heading out to Sin City for this game. You That's guys are excited? Right. That's right. It's going to be a real yeah. good one. This is the showdown we look forward to every single year, USA-Mexico. Doesn't get any crazier than that. I prefer it over USA against the European team. It's just so much energy. The rivalry is insane. The, the, the blood between the two teams, the bad blood. It's just, it's too much fun. It's too much yeah. fun. It's too much fun. We're putting all our chips on the table. Yep. Well, let's get into it because I, I think this time around, in my mind at least, there's no doubt who the stronger team is. And I think that's us. So. I'm going to kick it off here with just th- you guys. What do you think the predicted lineup is going to be here? Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's dead even, to be honest. I would say we're the stronger lineup, hopefully. But the coach, I think, gives us a disadvantage. But let's start with the lineup because it's an exciting lineup in one particular position. But we'll get there at the end. I'm going to start at the back, which is really some of the questions. And that's, I think, Matt Turner in goal, for sure. Mm-hmm. Out wide, you have... Mr. Anthony Robinson, Mr. Serginho Dest, anchoring the wide areas. And in the center, I think we've got Mr. Miles Robinson, the comeback player, the man in the center of defense. I think alongside him is Chris Richards. That's who I go with. I know he hasn't played a lot of first-team minutes, but to me, he is the most talented player we have in that position. That's the back line. The midfield is M-M, no A this time, so I'm going L. That's Musa, McKinney, and Luca De La Torre. So those three in the middle... I'm going on the wide, uh, the son of the Liberian leader. That's Mr. Timothy Wea. And on the other wing is Mr. Christian Pulisic. And mm-hmm. up front, introducing for the first time, Mr. Flo <laughs> Balligan. That's right. Super exciting. He has really to start. Hurt. He's going to score. He's going to be the difference. I'm excited. What did I get wrong? What did I get right, Roy? I, I think you missed a big one, man. You missed a big one, Mr. Mr. Mama's boy, Giovanni Reina. Uh, I think this coach, there's no way in hell that he goes against the fans' wishes. I don't think he has the guts to do it. He knows he's here part-time. He wants to leave on a high with the U.S. fan base liking him. I think Chris Richards shouldn't start. He probably won't start, hasn't played in a while, hasn't played consistently. I'm pretty sure he's going to go with Zimmerman there to the fan against the fans' wishes. The other thing is Reyna starts in the middle. I think it's Wea, Reyna, Pulisic right behind him, McKenny, and Musa. I think you need to have that attacking flair. I think it'll be exciting to see Reyna coming off a good end of the season, very good end of the season, where he finally is looking fit. And then of one course, half. what one half? Yeah, you think he's going to play I, one I, half? I think he's oh, going to play one half. I think he's a super sub. I think he's a super sub. Uh, I just worry he hasn't started minutes. He hasn't started for his club. LDT. That's Luca De La Torre has started consistently. And I think I'm worried with Reyna in the middle about who's filling that Adams hole. I'm not saying LDT is going to do it, but at least he's going to be a little more disciplined in, in, in filling some of that defensive responsibility that we're missing because of no Tyler Adams. So I'm worried yeah. about playing Reyna in that spot. And I'm worried about Sahil's us conceding point, the midfield. Sure. To Sahil's point, we do have a better lineup. And I think we're going to be a little bit more aggressive and go for a more attacking lineup as opposed to being so cautious and so worried about the Adams replacement, I think we're going to go forward and do Pulisic and Reyna partnering with Balogun right in front. I think that's a very exciting trio. We've been waiting for a long time to see a trio that good. Yeah, it's exciting. But it's Mexico. I'm, They're always dangerous. I'm gonna, But I'm going to be honest. All right, so this is, I'm going to be the optimist today. So honestly, no Irving Lozano, right? No, Jimenez. There's basically the top player there. You could say Edson Alvarez, Henry Martin. There's, you know, Luis Chavez. I mean, compared to the lineup that we're putting out there, we should be the favorites in this game. 100%. Yeah, but we have an assistant to an assistant coach. That's what gives us a disadvantage, in my opinion. But but sure. I I, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm I'm just hesitant and cautious. Because the coach it's doesn't matter in these games, man. Coach doesn't really matter. It's right here when it's so short amount of time before the game. What are they practicing for a week? I don't think mm-hmm. the coach is going to be the difference. I think the talent's going to be the difference. And we got to go out on the front foot. I yeah. really think we have to go out on the front foot. Instead of trying to do that like-for-like replacement for Adams, I think we go forward. 
and we trust our defense to, to hold the fort. We trust McKinney and Musa to be able to work defensively. I think it'll be good. Okay, so keys to success real quick for both of you. Um, you know, obviously, it's Mexico. So to your mm -hmm. point, yes, Rahi, like there's always, always going to be a rivalry. They're always going to come to play. And and Mexico is always a dangerous team, no matter no matter who they put on the field, you know. so Yeah, I, I think there's one major key to succeed in this game, and it's that our stars have to shine. They absolutely have to shine, and they have to shine bright in this game because we have some badasses on this team. We have Mr. Flo Balligan, an absolute killer in the French League. If he comes in and replicates that form, there's no reason that he doesn't score two goals against Mexico. But he has to come in. He has to come in confident. He has to finish his chances. If our stars shine, if Reyna plays the way he does on a good day for Dortmund, if Pulisic plays the way he does on a very good day for Chelsea, if Tinnitthi Weah pulls one of those U.S. national team performances he's done in the past where he's scoring goals, where he's giving those absolutely stunning, perfect assists, then we're going to win this game, and we should win it handedly. But if the stars don't shine, I, I think it's going to be another frustrating U.S. performance. I think we've got to be solid in the back. That's the key. And, and we've in some of these games, we've seen mistakes at opportune times. In the last Nations League, of course, the Mark McKenzie mistake, uh, unfortunate, and he's improved as a player. But it was, it was, we've seen that time and time again. And so we need defensive responsibilities to be fulfilled in the midfield as well. That's really important. Some discipline. We need to find a way to control the midfield against, regardless of not having their best players, a strong Mexico midfield. We have to find a way to to control the midfield. And if we do that, it sets the platform for our attacking players to go out and really set these things on fire and so for me it's defensively and defensive midfield that's where we win this game Agreed. yeah for me two things one is don't give away free kicks in dangerous territory because Luis Chavez knows how to take a free kick as we oh, saw yeah, during the does. World Cup yeah. but and Amazing. secondly it's Memo Cho and goal right for Mexico I, I think it's about time we kind of you know we kind of get the better of him in this in this uh, instance because he ain't getting any younger I can tell you that much so <laughs> Neither are we. Yeah, agreed. And Serginio Des, man, you spoke about defensively Rocky. I think it's going to come down to his performance because I trust the other guys. I trust Zimmerman if he starts to put in a good performance. I think uh, Miles Robinson has been so solid. Richard, uh, not Richards, uh, Anthony Robinson. We know what we're going to get. But Serginio Des is such a curveball, man. You have no idea what the hell you're going to get from that guy. But so sometimes he, he can be the difference. Yeah, he gets a little angry and then he plays really well. So I'm hoping he gets a little riled bad. up and just sometimes I've seen him uh, tear it up on both sides defensively as well. He has it in him. He just needs to be motivated in the right way. All yeah. right, so real quick, predictions for the score. What do we got? Ooh, that's a tough one. It's it's a tight game. Uh, I go 3-2 after regulation. So 2-2 two -two tie and then extra time we win 3-2. That's what I'm going for. What a missed opportunity, Rocky. I'm going to say... There it is. Dos Dos cero. Cero. Ah, cero. Okay. And Dos cero. I'm, I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with one zero. I think we win one zero, and I don't think we get too much trouble doing it, but that's my prediction. We'll be in Vegas, so we'll see you from Vegas. Um, you know, we'll we'll be there. And for all those US fans out there, I know you have to wait another 24 hours, but we're almost there. So U.S., Mexico, that's all you should be doing for tomorrow. And as always, boys, I'll let you guys say it. Go USA. Be by USA. Force be with us.